Hello everyone. In last video, we have discussed about change in velocity. Change in velocity is nothing but difference between the final velocity and initial velocity of the object. Object has done the journey and during the journey of the object, the final position where the object has achieved some velocity, that is final velocity. And initially when the journey has started, at that point, the velocity of the object that is initial velocity difference between those two velocities is nothing but the change in velocity now in this video we want to discuss the rate of change of velocity the change in velocity with respect to time or time rate of this change in velocity we want to discuss actually that is nothing but the acceleration or the retardation of the object so rate of change of velocity is nothing but the acceleration or retardation we know all that during uniform motion of an object along straight line, if I plot the graph displacement versus time, and if I am if I consider four time interval, time interval one, two, three, four, which are shown in green color, and the corresponding change in displacement shown as a ds for the corresponding time intervals. So for time interval one, two, three, four, red color, that is the change in displacement. And now if I take the ratio ds and dt or ds divided by dt that value will remain the constant so that here the line which is passing through the origin it indicates the velocity the velocity is constant here or the slope of this line slope of this inclined line which is passing through the origin slope of this line is throughout constant if i take it for any time interval time interval 1 2 3 4 for any time interval, the ds by dt value of this ratio ds by dt is constant or velocity is constant. So the velocity remains constant with respect to time for the uniform motion. We know though that velocity is equal to change in displacement divided by time interval. Velocity we have mentioned with the letter v, change in displacement as a ds and time interval is as a dt. So velocity is equal to change in displacement divided by time interval. Now, if I want to say change in velocity, obvious this change in velocity will be directly proportional to the change in ds by dt ratio for ds by dt. Change in velocity will be proportional, obvious. As there is the change in ds by dt, correspondingly change in velocity will be. right. But if you observe in this uniform motion, for this uniform motion case, as this ds by dt ratio, it remains constant. If this term is constant or change in ds by dt don't exist or ds by dt is always constant, if this term is constant, obvious change in velocity will be constant or I can say there is no change in velocity for any time interval because here for any time interval ds by dt ratio is constant. So I can say for the uniform motion of the object, change in velocity of the object for any time interval time interval any time interval you take out of this four one two three four for any time interval you take there is no change in velocity because here the velocity remains constant or there is no change in this ratio ds by dt here as there is no change in this ds by dt obviously there won't be any change in velocity and as there is no change in velocity or with as this ds by dt is constant, velocity is constant. And if you are saying velocity is constant, obvious, the change in velocity will be zero. So for uniform motion case, we will say change in velocity of an object for any time interval it is zero. Thank you.